everyone. Today I'm coming to Javits Center to watch the to see the Green Festival. Not him. This cat is the best cat for nuclear problem. So she will tell us what happens to Japanese people and American people's daily life by nuclear problems, nuclear power problems. How's going on? Check it out. cancer from the same exposure that men get. And women are 50% more likely to acquire a fatal cancer from that exposure. You do not hear this. It's just not widely advertised. Children between 0 and 5 are more vulnerable than adults, both men and women. And girls are twice as likely as boys to develop cancer from the same exposure. So there's a real gendered bias here and it is not being dealt with in terms of our, what's, when we're told an area is safe or certain amounts of radiation are safe, it's really m much more severely damaging to girls and to women. Uh, yet the government safety standards of radiation our energy into something positive instead of just keep worrying about it. And, and we started and we, at the first we were, we were going to um, maybe create the community solar panel or something so we don't have to use uh, energy for uh, nuclear power. But then, then we realized that the school food is in danger because it was on newspaper all over that the more than 200 school cafeterias, they found contaminated beef was consumed at the school. So um, we start doing petitions and we start going to um, um, local governments and ask them to publish the list of the each single food where they're coming from so we can avoid the food from Fukushima and around surrounded area. But um, they, at, up to this point, they never take uh, initiatives. And we still find like one or think, two items from the areas in the school foods. The other week. And then we had to figure out a way to make nuclear be an okay word. And so there was this Atoms for Peace program that transitioned us from nuclear weapons to nuclear power. But it's the same thing. We're just contaminating people slowly now. Behind. Most politicians are businessmen, men, 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 with ties, men, and lawyers who grease the wheels of the wickedness that's going on with the corporations. They have no scientific knowledge. They're medically illiterate. They don't know what they're doing, and they're destroying the planet. And I'm fed up with it. So what you need to know is, your president is not your leader. You are his leaders. For God's sake, get going. Take your country back. You need a revolution. I'm sick of this. We had a revolution in the 80s, and I led it. I was an alien doctor from Australia. And I was naive and stupid, and I said, we can get rid of nuclear weapons. So I recruited 23,000 doctors. And we started to say, nuclear war is bad for your health. We started dropping bombs all over the country, vaporizing people. Because when I first came here in 78, most Americans said to me, it's better to be dead than red. I thought they're psychotic. Yeah, we'd rather be blown up in a nuclear war, they said, than be communists. Ooh, communists. Oh, naughty word. So I said, well, what about the pygmies in Africa? Yeah, they said, they said to me, they don't want to be communists either. And I thought, these people are nuts. So we started dropping the bomb. And in five years, 
80% of Americans became opposed to nuclear war. I was even asked to address the annual Morticians Association about <laughs> nuclear war. And I said, why do you want me to talk to you? And they said, well, we don't want to have to embalm radioactive bodies. <laughs> and I said, a million people dying by three in the first 25 years. And Japan is much more heavily populated than around Chernobyl. Three million people dying. And already we're seeing children now with thyroid nodules. Tumors, that's...